You know, do you find it sometimes, if you are a Christian, do you find it sometimes living in the world that you live? Sometimes you find it difficult and wondering exactly where your place is. Maybe because you've gotten serious about walking with Christ. Maybe you've gotten serious about knowing Christ. You know, the Bible is full of guidance for us and how we live in a time and in a world where often things are not friendly to the ways and the things of Christ. In fact, 1 Peter and 2 Peter are written specifically to people that were going through some real tough times. They were living in what would be classified really as a hostile environment, a hostile environment for their faith. And so Peter writes to them to encourage them and also to equip them. In fact, what he says to them in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, he reminds them of who they are and who they belong to. He says, you are a chosen people, a holy nation of God. You belong to God. And then he encourages them to now live out their faith. They lived out their faith in a number of ways that you and I need to remember so we can live out our faith, so we can practice this Christianity in a way that makes an impact in the world that we live in, that shines brightly like stars in the universe, as the Apostle Paul says. One thing they did is they were unintimidated by the criticism or the words or the threats of people that didn't understand their faith. In other words, when they felt threatened, they didn't cow down and begin to act like they'd hide out and stay away, nor did they respond in the way we often and our human flesh want to respond to someone that criticizes us or someone that lashes out at us. We want to respond with force. They didn't fight and they didn't flight. Instead, they focused on not being intimidated, but just continuing to do the second thing. And that is to love God more than anything. To love God and the Jesus that he gave us, the salvation that comes through the Son of God, to love that more than they love the world, more than they love the approval of others, more, in our language, more than they loved the likes on our pictures or how many friends we have on Facebook. No, they were more concerned about loving God and loving him with all that they are. But thirdly, they were also concerned about how they built the unity and the bond of love with those fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. They were concerned about the unity of the church, the unity one with another. Why? Because they knew very quickly they needed each other. They needed to depend upon each other. They needed to encourage each other to make it every single day of their life. And you and I need that as well. But the last thing that Peter talks about in the next section, he talks about how also he said, I want you to live a life of such excellence, of such well-behaved lifestyle, that your life alone speaks for itself. That no one really can criticize it, no one who has really any standing can criticize because your life demonstrates the goodness and the grace of God. There has never been a time more critical in my life, more critical in your life, if we love Jesus, than to be the people that we say we are. To actually practice what we say we believe. Sometimes the world is hostile, but we have a Savior who loves us and cares for us gave his life for us, set your eyes on him, and everything else will grow strangely dim in the light of his presence. May God bless you. Have a great week.